Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I didn't post yesterday. I always, I always have an excuse for something. <laughs> I've just been busy lately. I've been working on my art assignment all week, and I just did not have time to work on the thing I originally planned. So I was actually originally going to skip this week's video, but I figured having a video out a day late was better than having no video at all. So I just decided to do a simple relaxed video and do an art journal thing. I don't know if you would necessarily call this an art journal. It's just kind of art journal inspired, just because that's how I format my art journals. But yeah, um, recently my favorite art YouTuber, uh, Barbara Rahman Gorb, she released a video. And I was watching it during art class because um, during class, since everything's remote, I can just watch videos while I sketch and stuff. But I ended up watching her new video during class and I literally got nothing done. <laughs> I was just mesmerized. I was watching it the entire time. So I had a lot of busy work at the end of the day. <laughs> but anyway, with my art journaling videos, I usually try to make them on the relaxed side. So I usually don't do voiceovers just because I feel like a relaxed feeling is just when you get to focus on the art instead of my lovely voice shouting at you. But um, I did a poll on Instagram because I wasn't sure if you guys would want that since last week I did post a time lapse and I did not really say much for like the majority of the 20 minutes. And I think all of you except for like one person voted that I do a voice- a voice? I cannot speak. <laughs> voted that I could do a voiceover. So I'm just doing that because you guys wanted to. But yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just going to talk a little bit as you guys watch this video. If you guys do find some inspiration, don't thank me, but thank Berber Von Gorp. She inspires me so much. <laughs> I don't I don't think I copy her necessarily, but she does give me a lot of inspiration to do things. Like, I have been kind of putting off my art journaling aside for just a bit because I've been trying to focus on drawing and painting and other things. But then as soon as her video came out, like I wanted to put everything away in just art journal. <laughs> I honestly love her so much. I don't think she has any idea how much I like I idolize her. <laughs> um when I was doing the video, the first one, um that was Berber von Gorbeast, I um I was using the Arteza paints and I tagged her in my Instagram post. And I think she I want to say she forwarded my story to her story and then I realized that she subscribed to me and I got like really excited and I felt really happy. <laughs> I don't know if she still is subscribed to me. I'm a pretty bland person on my channel and I don't, I mean I'm not saying I don't have uninteresting content, I don't think, but it's not like the best. <laughs> it's kind of like, YouTube's kind of a side thing, but I don't know. Maybe. If she is still subscribed to me and you're listening to this right now, I just want to say I love you so much. <laughs> it's it's really weird. Like, if I do end up getting famous or at least a decent amount of subscribers on YouTube, it'll just be really weird because there will be those people who like, maybe, maybe for them, I'm like their favorite artist YouTuber and they idolize me as much as I idolize some of my favorite YouTubers. Like, that that's just a weird thought to think about. I could never imagine that happening. I don't, I don't think my channel will grow that much, but I hope so. Anyway, I'm gonna stop jabbering and bothering you with unnecessary thoughts of mine and just get down to what I'm actually doing in this video. So, I started off with a random color generator because I just wasn't sure what color scheme I wanted to go with, so I just clicked through it a couple of times just to um, get an idea or see if there was any colors I just should do. I don't know. <laughs> but I noticed a lot of blues, and that actually got me thinking. So of course, the first thing I did was I went over it very thinly with white acrylic just so the wooden stripes wouldn't show through the paint. and. As always, I painted the edges just because I think it gives a nicer look. I don't know, that's just my personal preference. And I let it dry, and afterwards, when it was dry, I got some different varieties of blues. I got a darker blue and a kind of wintry blue, I want to say. A silver and a white. 
Uh, the dark blue for some reason wasn't working, so I ended up just using the white, the silver, and the, the winter blue. I just blended them, however, and I let it dry. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that uh, sticky piece of paper I used before I painted. Um, I cannot remember the name. I think it's called uh, contact paper. That's what it is, I think. Um, I had some extra lying around that couldn't really fit in a drawer. I don't know, it was just too short. So I just decided to set it aside and save it for art journaling. And since I was getting that blue, I, when I was looking at the blending job, I just, I, I don't know. I really wanted it to kind of have a wintry feeling almost. Just not a super uh, deep blue, just something kind of lighter, I think. I don't know. I am losing my train of thought right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Also, I apologize if you hear any, like, background noises. My cat's causing trouble in the house right now. <sighs> okay, back to the video. <laughs> stay on task, stay on task, Jesse. As I let it dry, I added some paint swatch cards just because I love using them and I have a crap ton with me right now. Every single time I go to the store, I always grab some because I always think I can use them for my art journal, but it's becoming a problem because I grab so many and I forget how many I actually have at my house. But anyway, I added some of the paint swatch cards and glued them on with my craft glue. For some reason, you know earlier in the video how I said the darker paint wasn't really showing up, I ended up having to switch the bottles because I had a color that was really similar to the one I wanted and that one worked just fine. For some reason, the first bottle, it just came out super watery, and when I mixed it, it was just like really sticky, but it was super transparent. Like, I, it, I did not see any mark on it. It was really strange. That blue flowery paper, um, that was just some extra scrapbook paper I had lying around. I always save my scraps whenever I'm doing an art journal or pretty much anything in general. I have a lot of loose things lying around because I could possibly use them. I'm not a hoarder, I promise. I throw away like actual trash, but I do keep the things I could probably reuse. Like for example, if I used a scrapbook page but only tear teared, I only tore off a little bit of it. There's still a lot of it left and I could probably use it for another project, so I just save it because I always do end up using it anyway. Speaking of saving scraps, I the ribbon I used in this piece was actually um, a scrap piece of ribbon. I where did it come from? I don't remember, but I had it lying around, so I just cut off a couple pieces. Not a couple, it was a few. Yeah, there's three. I cut off a few pieces and I glued them onto the not the canvas, the board. <laughs> I am so scatterminded right now, mind me. But yeah, as an artist, like you do not want to waste things because. Things are expensive. Paint is expensive. Colored pencils are expensive. I don't think there's any medium that's like inexpensive except for like, like if you're an artist that uses very simple things, like just a pencil you just sketch, then good for you. But if you are a person who likes to paint and use watercolors, like use oils or acrylics or watercolors or colored pencils, what are other mediums? Ugh, but those are like even, Ugh, I can I, I can't even explain it. It's just it's so expensive. I think um, Yes, Prismacolors. I saw at the store the other day a pack of 12 was like $50 I believe and What else one time I saw a tube like I'm not even joking It was a really small tube of one watercolor and it was I think it was $12 like things are crazy because the things um, the materials like the elements I want to say the elements, the pigments that make up the color, they are just really expensive. Anyway, sorry for my little rant there. But yeah, I used the extra dark paint and did some splatters. And then I used some of my extra silver paint just to kind of blend it out and add a little more um, something uh, visually interesting, I would say. Thinning out my white paint, I used some water mixed it in and I just kind of did some drips I guess. I don't know why, I just felt like it. And then came the part for the quote. When I was looking at it, I was getting kind of wintry feeling, but what kind of inspired the quote was I was looking at what the color was called on this watch card. 
and it said tidal. So I just decided to do a quote about the tide. Um, there wasn't really a particular reason other than that. And I think the reason why I just chose this quote out of all of the ones that came up when I searched up uh, quotes about tides was just because I just think it's a good quote. I don't know. And not, not every artist has a significant meaning behind everything. And <laughs> as another final touch, I decided to add some stickers. I don't know. I just love using stickers. I, d I just, I don't know. Something about it just seems really appealing. Maybe it's just the fact that I don't have to draw out the thing and attach it to the page. But in general, like the designs are just so pretty. And finally, using the last of my extra paint, I just added some more splatters, let it dry, and then I added some Mod Podge. And I called this piece done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am so sorry I ramble in almost all of my videos. But anyway, I am trying to reach 200 uh, subscribers by Christmas. I would, I would love if you shouted me out or something. <laughs> but if you do, um, try and tag me or just let me know in the comments if you do, just so I can thank you. And what else? Oh yes, if you do want to see certain content on my channel, just put a comment down below. Things you want to see, things you don't want to see or hear. Like, if you don't want to hear me rambling, you can put that in the comments and I will take no offense to it. <laughs> but yeah, I would say this video is about done. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next video.